Pays attention, no one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! They'll get worse than hurt! Hey! Hey! Ah, come on! Ah, finally! Don't do any crap! Let's go! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Come on! Hands behind your back! Come on, Nestor! We're giving you everything you want! I don't even think about it! I'll do it! I'll do it! Oh, God. Get in there! Sit tight! I'll handle the plastic. Don't blow yourself up. Listen up. Hurry! What's he doing? Em, get these get assholes in the in closet. You. Leave us alone. In the back. We Come on. Shit to you. All set. Phone it in. I'm making the call. <laughs> All right, we gonna do this? Huh? <laughs> Show me the money! Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. <coughs> That's the score. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. We gotta move! Coming out, B! Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face, I'll remember you. You forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes! He's great! It'll be quick. Fuck! You didn't have to do that! Let's get going! There'll be time for grieving later! Yeah, you got that right. Move! I'm setting the charges! They're on a timer, so brace yourselves! Shutter switch. What's this? Local resistance. It ain't supposed to go down like this. It never is. Come on, go. Don't be an idiot. Wrong profession. I ain't laying down for them. Come on, guys. Blame the pricks who called you out here. Let's move! Come on! The car's up here! Let's go! Move! Come on! The kid might have failed! This wasn't in the job description! We keep going forward! Get out of here! Come on! Get to the driver! We got a window! Let's go! Every man for himself! Get your ass! Geez, what took you so long? Shut the fuck up! And drive! Woo! Did you see that shit? Fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah, you're a real <laughs> stout. Ba, 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 ba.
You guys all right? Fuck! Come on! Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No! Hey! Stick to the plan! What? Stick to the fucking plan! Come on! Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. 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 I'm gonna check around back. Ah! 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 The fucking fence! Someone must have fucking talked! All right, Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Ah! Ah! Out of here! Oh, Jesus! T, uh, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna be... I'm fucking gonna bleed out. Go! Ah! No! Come on! Come on! Come on! I'm standing here! Finish me! Not always a good husband. <laughs> not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. Our Lord was crucified with two feet. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin and we die in sin. And in this, Michael, is like anybody else. Father, we do not know your infinite mysteries, but we know that you will show mercy to our friends. Your son, James, he's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road with a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh, well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc.
just how you feel. Man, shit gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another brilliant Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there, with the yellow stairs. Yeah, good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your <laughs> stupid ass on. Damn, why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is that we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all? Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in there. You bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit, come on. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. Which one you want, nigga? Like that? Bobby Big Dick on a nigga, huh? Shit, for real, homie. Damn, this motherfucker got Robo Roof and everything, nigga. He should have paid the Nizzo. <laughs> Man, you got to grind to keep that shit. Now it's back on us. Hell yeah, I want to see what it do. Hey, hit me on the speakerphone, long. Oh, it's like that? For sure, homie. Cool. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Man, there's enough bad credit going around, homie. It's like it's an endless supply in this fucked up ass country. Uh huh. Hey, I'll come at you from the show. Who's home? Oh, we feel this shit here, huh? some room. Whatever, homie.
What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, bro? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here... He's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real or mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I holla at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel. Show me. Uh, sure. Okay. How about we fall through, homie? <laughs> This jump change, how I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas hockey? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise, with all that ass, <laughs> nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, no, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, no, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening! Goddamn freeloader. Hey, what's going down, huh? Hey, yo, All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance.
Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, <laughs> I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's Lamar. Up, What's up, homie? What's up, Lenovi? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us... fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. <laughs> hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made the payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, you's about a yes master ass nigga. What we waiting for? Magellan Ave, nigga. Best beauty beach. And you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? That country bumpkin shit is enough to get us shot right there. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos do? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. It's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G's? With a 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dawg. Man, this whole setup designed to take drug money. All right, man, look. We go in quiet. In and out. No fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shoot a motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. Love me for it, nigga. Oh, <laughs> That's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. That's Simeon a funny dude, though. Uh, it's gonna be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack him for all this shit. What the fuck you talking about? You a psychotic motherfucker. That's how shit work, ain't it? You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I think this crazy motherfucker wants something. Hey, what's up, homie? You all right? No, wait, wait! Away from me! Run for Zappo agents! Uh, <gasps> yeah, you thought I was gonna hit your bitch ass, huh? Drunk ass nigga. Be cool, nigga. Ah, uh, wake up. You're in the road. Man, why I gotta have a lazy ass homie like your motherfucking ass? Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in the past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is a routine lick, dawg. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This is a shady ass alley. Shit, we in Vespucci Beach. We on the wrong side of Vespucci Beach. You should know a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. It's in one of these lockups. Come on, man, let's get it for these fools.
Man, ain't this about a bitch? Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, we saw you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos. Fucking, fucking die. Hey, come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would have just got my ass beat over a fucking gunfight. Man, stop being a pussy, nigga, and grab that heat. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Just throwing luck, homie. Shit. Down you go! Hey, step aside, motherfucker! Damn! Now I'm gonna put you to gone and done. Follow me, let's get through this! Damn, man! Just when I thought this shit was clearing up! So much for the kids work! Get that car, homie! Up there, shoot that nigga! Bust his ass! Some more of them niggas! Damn! You still breathing, homie? Yeah, barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. Man, we only came here for a bite. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here, we got your pink slip. Let's get him. We really gonna repo after all this bullshit. <gasps> You shot more of them than I did. Yeah, but you started this shit, stupid. Motherfucker's getting away from him. That's because he's sitting on 140 cubic inches right there, nigga. Oh, shit, Professor, you're right. Man, you lost him already. That's a monster fucking bike you riding, stupid. Pop that fool. We need him on his ass so we can get what we came for. This punk get away, we going down, homie. He gonna pin us for all these bodies. And whose fault is that, Mr. 80s action movie body count motherfucker? Don't play the blame game. Just get on. We got it. Dog, we gotta lay low. Get the bike and meet me at the car wash on Innocence. Holy shit. All right, drive safe. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, yeah, bro. Me. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron!
the fuck out. Like me because you think that I am an Arab. Okay. What? No. What are you talking about? Something like that. Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? The financing, it seems like a shitty deal. Ah, because of the color of my skin, you think I am a scammer. No, no, skin color's got nothing to do with it. Did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. Just because you have a massive gaper, bitch! Fucking homo, you're dead! Dead! He said I had a massive... Trying to knife attack me? Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Mental ones? Seriously, penises are not meant to be that small. Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Your 
Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Now look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate it, kid. Who Don't draw attention. Follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this you out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck. Come on, kid. Shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! See now, you've pissed me off. <laughs> You think you could take me for a ride? You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm telling you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. He agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here.
wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid, but if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love, hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe maybe if you're lucky you become a three-bit gangster it's bullshit go to college then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it it's called capitalism hmm so what i saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone right what you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests i guess i never saw myself as just a fucking pest well and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I'll tell you what, <sighs> least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, with... shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's, it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I'll help you out. Lesson number one, don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. Oh! There! There, there it is! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Come on, let's see. All right, I got a piece of the glove box. They give you shit, I'll take them out. Oh, that's cool, man. You shoot with one hand and drive with the other. But my motherfucker, come on, fuck this. Ah, shit! Oh, fuck! Ah, crap! Oh, I didn't! They fucked! 
fucking shot the engine. Fuck. Get your fucking hands off of him. Hey, stop throwing assholes at me. Man the lifeboats, you pricks. Hey, ain't you talking to me? Hey, shoot this motherfucker in the face already. The fuck are you Shit. doing? Go find Jimmy! Dad? Wait! You're the guy from the dealership! Yeah, and it's a long story, bro! Oh, Jimmy! Dad! Kid, watch out for the boom! Fuck! Hold on! Dad! Help! 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 Dad needs his help! Get under him, man! Let him drop the floor! Get your hands off the boom! Fuck! Ah. I'm ah, slipping! This is gonna kill this me! Is Hold oh, the bridge! No, 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 keep the fucking... Ah. The fuck is wrong with you, kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit! You better hope she's still seaworthy! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Fuck, kid! Hey, get me off this damn thing! Hey, get right up the back of that thing! Right behind you, homie, come on! I ain't jumping from here, man! Get close! Yay! Fuck's sake! Remind me not to come to you for parenting and advice! All the fucking board? Let's stop this ship from sailing. Now that doesn't sound good! Hey, that's the engine, man. We ain't taking shit in this thing. Don't you die on me yet! Ah! My fucking boat! Hey! It's just a thing! At least you still got a son! Hey, it's a chop shop back here, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing! My boat. Please stop doing that! Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie, that was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking boat! No, it's not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but... All you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home and fix this thing? I want to head but the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough, all right? Enough. Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? No problem. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay. I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride uh, fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. There, we can dish it. Sweet. My mom always says she wants some more, like, aggressive lines on this thing. Oh, shit. That's where it's at. Oh, yeah. Paint ya. What up? My 
My mama's car had almost as much work as my mama. I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. And someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. Oh, man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well... Well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting your resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh... I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? No, nah, not since the first couple. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or. Or we could just, like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but, uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. It's just a car, babe. Ah, uh, Tiana. I'm really not. Shit. Your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about towing cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'ma show you. Come on. Shit. All right, then. Shit. Everything. 
Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. All right, shit, where we going? Trucks at the Davis Sheriff impound. Oh, man, how did I get dragged into this? We both know you always been sweet on me. <laughs> shit, Franklin Clinton. Shit, your ass must be high or something. I told you, I don't do that shit no more. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste. But I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you say, girl. Come on. Crap. There's JB's truck. Let's go bring the cha-ching, homie. We filling in for JB. Uh, copy that. Uh, hi, Tanya. Car's a junker. Been there for days. 10-7. I'm gone. A bucket. This one should be easy. Shit, not easy enough for JB to drag his ass out of whatever crack house he laying in. His loss, yo gain, sugar. Except I ain't gaining shit, sugar. Move that seat back, and you know I'll make it right for you. That ain't what I'm saying. Damn, Tanya. What the fuck happened to you? JB do this a hundred times. Back up close. Make sure the hook is down. And it should slide right in. Oh my god. Hey, Aye, baby. Back it up nice and steady. Okay, we are in, baby. Let's get this back to the lot. Hey, this was not how I saw my day going. I've been trying to branch out. Can't stay in Chamberlain Hills forever. Oh, nigga got airs now. I remember you before you... You was a wannabe when you just was. And I remember you and JB before y'all was dopey. Shit changes. You the one all turfed up. JB smoking, but he ain't smoking homies. He out here grinding, towing cars, paying bills. For real? Because I could have sworn it was me out here towing cars for him. And looking damn fine doing it too, baby. Okay, we make the drop where they got the areas marked. They get real finicky when we don't leave it in the right place. I'll see you on the block. Anything you need, you holler at me. to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. 
Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women, we and are we women. are free. Free in the We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are shouting. We are women. Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Come on, homie, we ain't got all day. Let's go. For sure, but what you got up? Kidnapping fool, that clown D, that OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more game banging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, low? And ain't nobody out here gang banging. It just look like that. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway so she can get the fucking house. You got sure, the wheel, huh? Right. Get in the van, Chuck. Get in the van. Good dog. Yeah, tomorrow's my weekly morning trip. Real talk. Go up Vinewood Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Your annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I said. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's straight. It's me and you that ain't straight, though, homie. Dog, I know, homie. But look, I met this contact, this white dude. Real serious dude, man. This motherfucker know the streets, homie. I know he'll be a good hookup for us. We don't need no hookup, fool. I know these streets. You. No, these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit card stealing, boosting gas tankers on me. Come on, man. What you trying to be some fucking commodity trader or something? Fool, that shit went up, man. Look, homie, I don't mind dying, you feel me? But I just want to die with something that matters, homie. That's what foreign gangsters should really be about. And I know this much, the motherfucking OGs ain't even giving a fuck about us, though. Man, fuck the OGs then. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking pyramid scheme. Wait, hold on. Listen to your boy one time. Listen to your boy. You want some paper, my nigga? This is what it's about. Check it out. I'm talking about 40000 No problem. Cash in hand. Two days time. No killing. Nothing. No, just starting another beef with the fucking ballers, nigga. That's class A felony bullshit. We gonna keep our disguise on. Ain't nobody gotta know it was us. <laughs> yeah, whatever, homie. We'll see about that. He down this alley up here. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short witty. I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. You ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it gotta be like that? I'm an OG. And I... OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs. Well, shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo. That's disgusting. What's happening now, D man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass to CGF. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mask-wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm out of here. Fuck hey, off, on, get bitch. That, nigga. Come on, let's go. Go, go. Get in the van. <laughs> You see what he driving? Man, we in a van, motherfucker. We fuck. Oh, gangster, we got this. It's gonna get bumpy, Chop. What the fuck you say something for? We could have creeped up on this nigga. You see yourself, Franklin? Nigga's a big black motherfucker. Nigga, your creeping days is over. Come on, homie. Concentrate on the road. You ain't gonna match me. Hey, you gonna okay, catch up? You gotta watch out, fool. This nigga's a punk, homie, and he making you look like one, too. I don't know why you think that's gonna motivate me, nigga, cuz it don't. That's 40 G's getting away right there. No way. 
He leaving us behind, fool! Man, look at this shit, dawg. We chasing another motherfucker on a motorcycle. Watch the van, homie. We need it. If we snatching this dude, we snatching his ass right. Remember the homies around the block? Man, the homies is lame. Yeah, so we not. The cops on their cell phone as soon as they made the ransom call. Triangulated the signal. Ghetto birds. Ghetto birds all over the place. Surveillance, my nigga. Oh, shit. Damn. He got fucked up. Man, take time. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass there with your feet kicked up. Come on, child. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, child. Get it! You are holy shit! You CGF chop for real. I feel it. Here. Yo, said no, you here, asshole! His ass chop. He ain't one of them box cars. Give it up. Man, fuck. Where he at, chop? Where he at? Motherfucker. Hey, chop. That smell like a baller. You smell that motherfucker, boy? I'll be fucking when I get there, Chop. Get out that thing, Chop, you filthy motherfucker. Shit, Chop. Come on, Chop. Get off there, man. We got shit to do. Not the time, Chop. We gotta go. Lamar show ain't been training your ass, has he, boy? Come on, man. Back to business. Get the bad guy. You a mean motherfucker, man. Let's go. Yo ass caught. You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Screw that dog, man! Don't hump him. Bite his ass, chop. Get his ass. That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, get over here! Oh, shit! 
What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CTF. Cause maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the man? Fuck you the fan, punk? Shit. Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Ah, fucking idiot. Shit. I said I had no beef, man. Shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, man. What the fuck? Watch you, boy. Get this fucking dog Come away from me. Come on. Fuck. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. Hey, how are you? We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet, I gotta make a call. We got your boy. You calling them on a cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? They gonna trace this shit in a sec. We want 40,000. It's pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck y'all. I'll be seeing y'all soon. The only reason you been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg? Oh, you owe me a bike, you This is bullshit. Take me down the cut. Damn, you look good. All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They gonna be on you now. Them cops gonna be on your ass, too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. Dumb luck right there. Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked up brick in my bed. <sighs> Bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> Yo! 
You okay, homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, and we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. that little prick? The fuck is he doing? Fucking stoner prick! RV asshole! Fuck, man, I think we lost this thing. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Where'd that slimy little white fucker go? It's this track here. Hey, nice car. Hey, you know, one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. He left this car. Check it out. Little prick's up there. Look. Oh, shit. Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole. You ran off before we could settle our debts. Michael, fine. You got the wrong idea, man. He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Man, fucking drop it! Hey, homie, ain't rubbing outside at night, dog. Push the pedal, homie. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Man, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what? What the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> Shit, we got some headaches on the phone. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Try. We can handle this, right? Screw them. Hey, let's go. Let's leave them behind. How you doing, Frank? If these are Mark Madrasso's boys, Man, it's a lot more where they came from! Hey, the essays is booked. 
Okay, we go back to my house and think about this. Wow, shit, you did good. I mean, I don't know if you hit anyone because your name's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you sure I didn't hit? Uh, maybe go to a shooting range and work on your aim before we go out again. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now, maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Uh. Well, Natalia will <sighs> need a hotel while you finance a rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute.
I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now.
Michael. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a realtor, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. Scanning. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> these hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should be the dude. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. 
Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Let me get the door for you. Michael, hold on, hold on. Down! I down you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, oh, stay docked. Uh, you can be docked oh, in your home. And at the Whoa. same time, you're Let's... docking with... Whoa! Watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.
look around. Those are selling fast. you go. Thank you. I'm going to see your diamonds this week, right? Make sure you come back. Tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policing. You worthless turn, turd. Turn. Did you fucking say that? I said that up! Daddy, I'm so stupid, bastard! I told you, she's a biter! That's assault on top of the shop lifting beat. Me hey, hey! Stop okay. right now! Hit the gas! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Chill out! It's under control! Come on! Come on! Come on! I'm on top of it! Air support air! Suspected southbound! Drive! Michael! Relax, I got this. I do not want to go to prison. I'm on top of it. The cops are still after us! Chill out. It's under control. I'm on top of it. Let's go, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. They're coming, Michael! I'm on top of it. Chill out. It's under control. Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! 
What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. Looking good. So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this Lovers on the Run act? Are we going home? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending habits have got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey, that's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even sacred no more. Thanks, Michael. I'm not dead and I'm not in prison, so thanks. buddy. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. I guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now, they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those 
Irish crazies. They mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was a, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white, middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. system. Okay, that's a security camera. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. Put on your nest. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there, some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Sorry about that. Ah, nuts. No 
So you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. And I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. What do you think? OD, shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. It means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. 
Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LS. SPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Toe. Now well, you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now well, we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If you're happy... I'll start making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so uh, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs, so... There's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Looks good. Yeah, I like it. Now, I'm telling you, if you don't sleep in that hairnet, you're gonna wake up with your brains in your pillow, dig? All right, I hear you. See ya. Why, hello there. Have a seat. Hmm, there it is, I think. Thanks for stopping by.
did the interview go? What? Oh, yeah. All I seem to do is cover the shifts of girls who've been sacked for getting too fat. I don't usually dress like this. They make us wear the clothes. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? Y you want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach. And I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, 
and listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Oh, thanks. But no worries. Hey, you my dude, right? If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Okay, bye bye. Oh, right. Needs a nose job. Damn. End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit.
Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Oh, ah, fuck, man! I like him! What's the problem? You're such Asshole. a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Baby, it's okay. I'm taking you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. There he is. Jimmy, you gay bag. You! You fucking asshole! Ah! Yeah, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. great. I'm going to be a psychologist, so this kind of thing fascinates me. Just like really amazing, like spiritual and incredible. Yeah. What do you mean you found some questionable so content? Out. You have no idea. All I need was some more RAM. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. I 
I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? Mm. I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga. Look who's been zapped. What's up, What's fool? With it, man? Oh, no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, they couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh. You missed me, huh? Nah, I ain't missed you. Your ass could've stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your moms, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Oh, I swear, man. Strizet, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man. man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. What's part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, Bill? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Real business. Come on, girl. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit. Not me, shit. Let's go to the gun store. Shit, homie, you gonna drop all that bread on that gear, you might as well get a haircut, too. Fucking crazy-haired microphone, motherfucker. I got a microphone I can shove right in your prison pocket. Nigga, you walk like you keister and shit anyway. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah! You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. Why the fuck am I the only one buying this? Because we got sheets, homie. Now shut the fuck up and come on. Now just let me reinstate, man, that the purchases made by this man ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fella nature. That's right. Yeah. Now let's go bust on some niggas. Man, we got some recycling to do. Come on, man. Send her off friends in La Puerta. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. 
You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my aunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably needs tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know? Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. All right, homie, we meeting in here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga. <laughs> What's, What's up, up fool? What up, with We it? got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. Lamar bills. Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? Everything cool? Yeah. Hold on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, dog. Don't real yeah. recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what the fuck up? this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody I see, see. On us? They put a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dog. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, we've been ball. set up, nigga. This shit fucked fuck up. Fuck you, nigga. You. Fuck you. Fuck shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. We oh, doing man, this or what? Man. Come on. Oh, it's time to go. Let's go. You get me, motherfucker. You fucking D set us up. Fuck! I said lay low after you got caught. You lay low, motherfucker. That ain't me. I can see that. It's three on one right now. Man, I deserve oh, to get oh, booked. Oh, see that shit? Come on, little homies. Let's do this. Enough with all that shit. We on our way. Cover me, homie. I'm gonna hit this. Fuck! Fire him up! Man, bullshit! You going first next time, no fool. Shit, nigga, then we all be dead. Not me, nigga. You gonna get chips, old bitch ass baller? This is fucked. You ain't creeping on us. Never trust the parlor, homie. Never trust you is the lesson I'm taking away from this shit. Fuck you. You're mine, motherfucker. That's gangster. Here again? This Chamberlain gangster family's here! Oh, God! Man, back up! I'm gonna follow you for a minute. We ain't gonna run. Fuck that! Get out! See that shit? What well, move? Shit, we gotta go for this shit spread. Man, pop me again, low. Hey, baller, you the one getting booked. Ah! Ah! Fuck you, motherfucker. We almost popped all these dudes. Now that you pop that little. Huh? We really fucked. Man, you shouldn't have put me in the room with that shit. Man, I deserve to get booked. Ah! Man, I ain't going down for you. Fuck that shit. here. Oh, yo, homie, dead. I'm right behind you. Hey, here's the exit. This the way out. Hey, one time. All C and I gonna cause us some trouble. Ah. Clap him, homie.
here. Are up. I wasn't up. even in this state. something with the ballers shit i don't care if you cgf for life man you done done you dig actually we ain't cgf for life because all that means we giving you money for nothing we got our own shit now homie foreign gangsters oh no no he don't mean that low f just talking outside his neck i'm gonna reach cross lines all right conversate with the purple homies yeah yeah that's a good idea man smart shit but if i gotta hang you assholes out for this the gang comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic and shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace-talking motherfucker we should've sent to the Middle East. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee-eye itch every day. Hell no, nah, yeah. nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook-ass nigga, I told you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark-ass bitch. Fucking bust it. you dad you're the best dad in the whole world ah you make me so proud parenting at its finest
Are you sure about this? Ah! It's just knockout gas. Walk away. Over there. Oh, Les, we got us some good night gas. Ah, good. Once we have the pest control van, we'll be ready to go. I'm on it. This is private property. Move along, please. Get out of the oh. fucking way. Let's escort this guy off the premises. Who's that guy in our van? We have a 503 at Bugstar Pest Control on Ocean Island. KPL a right to the Clause A van. Dial 911! This guy's getting in a van!
Lester, we have a pest control van. Yeah, then we have everything we need. Then come to the warehouse, and we'll get this thing in motion. Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um... The uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. He makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep. No problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Ricky, I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Eddie, Norm, you got the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. F, come on, get in. You got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. So you cut corners on the quality of the crew, huh? I allocated resources the way I saw fit, okay? How's that? The driver's capable. The others, not so much. So, that's like what? Gunman and hacker? Yeah, the getaway should be fine. But we gotta hope these two hold it together during the robbery. All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Excuse me! Exterminator! Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Get your ass out of here. Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. I got an angle. That was it. They going out. You love her. Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... 
I told him to fix that goddamn AC. What's going on? Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Following your lead. I wouldn't stay in there too long, okay? The alarm is gonna go at some point. You gotta be kidding me! Why did I employ a hacker who can't run antivirus software? Shit, um, uh, okay, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. We ain't leaving here till we hit the target, come on! I think you got maybe 30 seconds left. Get in there, shit! Come on, let's clear this place out! It don't matter if we lose some, right? All right, that's our target. Keep it up, see how much we can get. Ten, um, nine, um, eight, seven, six, five, four, maybe, three, two, one, one, one! Coast is clear, if we move. So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. Let's go. Come on. Stay on me. Cross here. Let's go. <laughs> we got a sharp left coming up on Dorset Drive. Let's move. when you working with fools. Guy was a fool. We're going through this tunnel up ahead. The tunnel splits. Both lead to the same place. Keep going through the mud. Bike should be able to handle it. I studied the route. I'm not an idiot. These are the best bikes for the terrain. Don't go down the tunnels here. Take a left. Go up by the escalators. I got this covered. Shit, man, we struck. Keep driving. Full bars on this truck to help us out the cover. Get your ass back to the station. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. Mm. Oh, 
stuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. All right. Woo! Woo! I might just be able to send my kids to college. When L.I. fired me, they said I was dangerous. <laughs> they was right, yo. Then you come, come on. Call your gym guy, Lesty Baby, cause we got merchandise. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? <laughs> Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file, what is wrong with you? Davy, Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked. Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. He's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? Criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, he pushes me over and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. 
Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high. But that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but it don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you're done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy, all right? Let's, let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. Cowboy, hey, I know, hey, come on. Shh, I don't hey. mean nothing by it, man. I just I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. You fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you, then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> Fuck! Now, we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers. This ghost I saw, his name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Whenever you're ready. We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then... Ow! They don't need to find out about it! You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting, I was just saying we should kill her! You called her a bitch! Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. on the right? That's where they're meant to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messing with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. 
That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. Get you to anything? Soda? Snacks? 
No! Get in the fucking truck! Wade? What are you still doing here? Did you said? I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs! We're dropping in on Ortega. He has Tekas? That makes me nervous. Ah, don't be nervous, nervous, Ron. He'll be fine with the takeover. Takeover? Trevor, we don't need to. Now the bikers are gone. It's just us, the Aztecas, and the O'Neills. The market's big enough. This Chinese contact's gonna buy crystal fast as we can cook it. You just gotta meet him at the end, and... Here he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, come on. Ortega runs the whole county. He don't anymore. Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. Ah! You get the picture. I'll go away, man, but my people. Oh, that feels better. I guess he don't run nothing no more. Let's get out of here, man. Quick. I don't know what these naysayers are talking about. Look at me. I'm cranked on speed most of the time, but I'm productivity personified. You sure achieved a lot today. It was time to put my affairs in order. You going somewhere? As soon as I find that Spectre on the TV, Michael Townley. He's your buddy you said got shot, right? You guys used to run together. Yeah, that's him. My best pal. I thought he was dead. You're catching on fast. Yeah, the fucking ghost I've been talking about. He's alive? He's walking and he's talking. He's sticking up joints, so I guess, yeah, that makes him alive, don't it? And how you know it's him? His M.O. And it's the same corny shit he was spewing ten years back. This could be a trap, Trevor. What if someone wants you to think he's alive? I was fooled when I thought he was dead. I ain't fooled now. Michael Townley lives and frees. He's in Los Santos, and he's got some explaining to do. They could be trying to draw you out into the open. That's a conspiracy theory too far, even for you, Ronald. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the 
phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that! What do you have in mind? Thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir. Of course. Maybe I'll hit the jackpot tomorrow. Oh, oh, my God. Just oh, my God. The the rest of my life. What's that? Golf. Trevor. <laughs> You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's won. Ban him. I have a video. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. <laughs> He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing. Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? This crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. 
Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So bomb. The tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little spring clean. Ortega has always been cool us before. Check on the Chinese delegation. They might be catching a chill. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Gaijong. Uh, uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. 
Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chap wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good. That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. They won't hear me coming. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But, but you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? They got a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower! Good kill, Trevor! Hurry it up, Ronnie!
down, sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there, amongst the bodies! Clean shot, Trev! Another guy's coming out of the tower! Must be looking for the one you shot! Whoo! Down he goes! Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! Please, just cover me! I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank! I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's another guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. I'm fitting it. Just keep a lookout. And whatever you do, don't hit man. I think someone's coming. Shit. He sees me. He sees me, Trevor. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper, incoming. Always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might. Die in the sky! Cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors. 
those in the south are Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, but because of where you used to operate, weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. <sighs> I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. 
I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you, and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. This Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Huh? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! A small patch to call my own on this godforsaken earth!
Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family myth business you got when I'm done! Mm. All of you are going to die! Help us. <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you and I'll torch your cookhouse. Man, fuck him! It's over! Fuck, Munger! Find some cover! Hey, fuck you! Go home! Oh, oh, no you me. Hey, back to your fucking trailer! You mother! Uh. 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 Get your own fucking uh. business! Uh. Keep him out of the lab! Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. You piece of shit! Here you go! He can't come down here! Stop him! Oh, shit! He's down here! Don't come any closer, all right? You win! You can have the contract! Well, look at this! You asked for this, assholes!
Everything you've built, see how it feels. Nothing but a smoldering fucking wreck. You disrespectful pricks! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. 
Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, I got my big eye, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kinda wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Wow, that's a real mind. 
I'll show you. Fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be Wade. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? Oh! Tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh! Damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tri uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or a hockey player. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen you on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. 
Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the name checks change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead, and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. You don't turn here. This one's a right. Keep it straight now. This is the place, I think it is at least. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right, okay. Fuck. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? 
Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Mays Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, here it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, sirree. This has got to be it. The Maze Bank. Let's go in. Oh, fuck! Let's find your baby. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. What up, virgin? No sex yet or what? <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. 
Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Security! Uh, Security! No. What you fucking say? Come on, big guy! Come right on. there! No. Come on! No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home. Come back here. They took our ride. We take their truck. There, we take the truck. Hey! Hey! Not my rig! Let's get that trick. Look! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, uh, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig! We'll flatten this dick bag. Fuck you, asshole! I knew he was an asshole. Oh my god! Hey. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a race. Hey, take a left up here. Bullshit. Ah, the little bastard's going up to the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him. He went left! I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side.
Ah, ah, he's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Huh. You proved your point. Huh. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh. Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Sweetheart. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so no. you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. No, come on, man! I just got that bike! Somebody stop that guy! Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are 
my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Jesus. Yeah. Back from the dead, yeah. motherfucker! Ah. 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 Yeah. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out.
We have to contain this facility. I should have stayed on the slab. I'm not interested in the Can't truth! Ass wipe! I don't know what's happening here! I won't be doing it much longer! Motherfucker! It's all a big misunderstanding! Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Hey, you hit you me! Fucking idiot. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people, feds, who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? 
this clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you.
what is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus. Perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In and out with the breath, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. That is okay. Air through the nose, and out the mouth. <sighs> Exhale. It moves. Amazing. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Let it go. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. Now, you breathe. <sighs> Erect. Turgid. Hold it. Stroke it. You can breathe, can't you? Out through the mouth. Are you taking this seriously, or is this some elaborate way to get at me? Breathe, Mikkel. There. There it is. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children. Do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? Your core is 
Very weak, Mikael. Take in the air and release it. Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out. No vanity. Come on. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Tell me you don't feel centered. Breathe, please, Michael. Breathe out, please. Hold the anus. Take in the air and release it. There! Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out, you're turning red. For me, Titor, it's okay. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Not bad. You have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, mm, oh, oh, nice. oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Wait, shit. Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Phony! French! Fucking Yogi! Gah! Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Don't you see me? Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... Do not job. I love you! Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's man? up? What's, what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. 
You're looking good. Oh, right all right, all right. Later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Get in here. What the fuck? Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. Just paranoia. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified in the sun. <laughs> you should see yourself. Stop moaning and drive back. Feds have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving what? out. All right, you're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Jimmy, you little shit. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. 
Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Tracy, baby, you call? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I will. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. 
You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Oh. My career depends on this, and that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies, off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job. Okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. 
All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad. Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 no. inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. I guess you got the world wrong. thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, chief! 36 flow, attack. Don't harm the assets. Hey! All out! Slow down! Oh, get off me! Hold on! Hey, get us out of here! Someone's getting fired for today. Don't, don't shoot me! We got a window, T! Pull us out! They're extracting the asset! Ah. We got the sniper in the adjacent building! Don't drop me! Don't don't drop me! Hey, why are we just hanging here? Hey, Stooley! I'm not leaving here till you shoot those guys. So get moving on it. You're gonna get us killed. You know that? That's it. Get us out of here. Roger that. Whoa! Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin. Shit! So long! Hey, it's time to stay on, home. Nice one, kid! You're in breach of the U.S. Constitution. Lethal force will be utilized! Land immediately and await instruction. We will shoot you down! I don't care who you are! Then why are you 
doing this to me? <laughs> hey, hold tight. I got some friends with the Bureau. They'll explain everything. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. The Bureau. The FIB. They will make everything okay? I'm sure. Don't worry. They'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Yeah, well, that don't seem to matter too much. Put her down in the lot, Trevor. Thank you. Oh, you saved me. Hey, hey. No, huh? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, I said easy. Oh, oh, come on, give the no. guy a break. Uh. I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what? You gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. I don't like now, nobody don't playing on my phone. Don't you step foot in this yard! Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbang? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. I mean, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, oh, okay? Thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? Talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Who is this for? Man, what is man just come on. Where's this thing happening? 
down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some other fuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? You buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! Oh, you trip! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool want to get butt naked? Hey, any of y'all hear about that MC Clip fashion shoot thing that's going on around here? MC Clip? Hey, nigga, since when you care about that fool? Hey, man, I don't care. Shit. I'm just care. saying, nigga, I don't care about nothing. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Another punk-ass bitch walking away. Shit, man, you ain't lying. Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the, give me the back! Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Fuck off! Ah.
What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. They, uh, it'll be dead before it hears the shot. You need a receipt for taxes? <laughs> You've racked up some more ammunition rewards points.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Oh, Boss is down! Get an ambulance! Now! I need backup! Now! I need a nearby unit report immediately! today. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Come on, don't waste my time. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. 
Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Appreciate this shit.
Damn, I ain't got much time left. It's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's like family and got kid and he's going... That, 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 that's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special. But this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person. Floyd, I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, team. I really miss it. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I always feel like you're sticking a mug. Now look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? 
236 billion dollars worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, boy. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put brass tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather security consultant. Private army to the New World Order. My back god, The folks waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. And they got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. Go park and get the dispatch. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. He's always drunk. Well, he's particularly drunk. Okay? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. You got a strong stomach, son. Screw <laughs> him. Get in there. Screw up. We all get that. I guess we do. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. You know, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it! Now! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. Those are the containers. They be. And attach it. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? 
Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Please! Just don't! Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellat no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. That's lined up. Move the spreader down so it can grab the container. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. and move it to the other end. We need to go to the other end, bay five. Right down at the end. That's the truck, ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. The truck is clear to go. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Take us back up to the other end. Get in position over the second container in Bay 1.
Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. We can use the big rig. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Come through here. It's restricted access. No enciendo. Uh, no understando. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck Get do you think you're going? The must have got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, you must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, here. something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. <coughs> Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. 
Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. in the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, they're there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? Did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. This'll do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now. <laughs> and there, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore?
Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. You okay? All right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, I, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! NLS really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging that with. That right there is the problem with this city. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, and yes. how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me. You'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. It's going good, but I don't know. It just feels like a sellout. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nothing. Are you taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, sorry, go no, for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. Do you remember after the bust, I was in all the papers, I was on the evening news, the man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You need anything? You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you anything? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. Dentistry is an industry that hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. Are they still alive? talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurt too much! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in too much. The ride on the Russian highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how 
are Steve and Trevor getting along? Same way. Productive relationship. Now, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right. You took good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you want. Loosen him up. No, no, please. How many vaults do you think they got running through these things? Not the clips. Not the clips. Don't do it. You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I, I got the gift now. The secret That's what we were afraid of. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This talk. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's wanted. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, 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 oh. Nutcracker! <laughs> So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> He just got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know.
They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. It's a torture. It is. I was drown. I got blood in my mouth. Oh, no. Say this. My mouth. I, I would fall. Look at me, I am a genuine government man. Help me pick this up. Oh, you look so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. How long was I out? Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left-handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left-handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking a shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Together. I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Be. Run! 
You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. are missing the chopper. They lost one, got your shame. We took it, you dick. Add it to the list and I'll tell you when we got the rest of it.
Okay, all right. Hurry up! Nope. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, I'm here. Oh, Jesus. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. It, I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can pull up. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um. Sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tort... Here's Trevor. Gee, you right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? 
We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The Bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man, I got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me! Sanitation truck's there now, so don't you bother.
the Lord above. This is a what? the best mechanic in L.S. do for you? Should be running better than ever. Can't go wrong with a little extra under the hood. Now that's going to be a smooth ride. You got great taste. Custom job. That's a beauty right there. Sharp. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her.
We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Pillbox Hill. Buddy. Yeah, what's crazy? Dear God! Keep your Thank fucking you eyes open, why don't you? Yeah. Oh! 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 Good God! Later, friend. All right, I got some masks. We're all gonna look real pretty. image of my older brother. All quality merchandise, I can personally assure you of that. Taken care of.
shit, sorry. No way. You ready to do this? Yeah, we got everything we need. No thanks to you. All right. I'll let you know when it's happening. Lucky, buddy. Trevor's hard at work. 
Where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! And the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! You wanna go? No, I'm good, though. Uh, hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. The fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out, and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck, get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. Sandy Shores Airfield, if you please. Sandy Shores? That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize he was going all the way out there either. I've been told your generation are work shot. Repeatedly. But this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? You think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle-class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh, going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Hey, you hit me! Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just say it. You're mocking me! No! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor, it's a business! Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The Lost Motorcycle Club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey, the God, oh, just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. 
Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine then. Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Ah, flying lessons. Right. You know, I was gonna have them. And then... Oh, you total idiot. Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. He's gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and flying out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down to find the device the government's been tested. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. And here's my submarine! Floyd, wait! Stand by the hangar. This is our chopper, I guess. Picking 
the signal. Oh, steady, here we go. 
those two. You see these guys? Oh, look at this! Four choppers coming at us! See you too. <clears throat> What's it been? Huh? Ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You know, drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too! Ah, Trevor, you are a weapons-grade moron.
You ready to do this? Yep, got everything we need. Okay, so move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. today. Should be running better than ever. This is some special op stuff. Just looking at that engine gives me a hard on. ruining my work playing backseat twist What's cracking? What's here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Okay. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. <laughs> 
You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dawg. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Michael, you better get on your way. Get moving, M. Block both lanes of traffic. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. Ramming speed, bitch! Just to the right. T, 
I got visual on the snipers, they're going down. I'm here, man, on the roof. Shooter one is down. Damn, man, you a cold motherfucker, dog. Shooter two is down. These fucking snipers, they don't go, I will. Snipers are gone, we're clear. They're coming from the left. Thanks for you down there! I dropped that fucking car! Team, there's a sniper in the chopper. You gotta bring it down! Chance to go! I'll deliver the bonds! F! You dump the trash truck! I'm on the move! Hey man, shit, you look after yourself, dog, alright?
Everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you, it's a step up for me. A real opportunity. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in.
But the walls will hold us! Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go.
Whoa, what are you doing here? Stop. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! Chill out! This is not how you negotiate! This is too real for me! I need to escape! Has anybody got crack? Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. 
We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey! You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. What the fuck does two hey, points have? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right.
Hey, we coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. We gotta hang in there. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? She had an know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Oh, shit, sorry! Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. The only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? The lead horse always burns out before the end. Hey. 
Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. And if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. He don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. We'll leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
right, dog. Thank you. 
the top. I ain't far away. Hey, rise and shine, huh? Oh, man. Seize the day. Go on. Suspect stopped walking. Appears to be accessing a small garage. All right, all right. This is it. I'm going to get the call. Hey, motherfucker. car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten... Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. I 
baby. No. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker! Attention all you. We've got a 'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left oh there she is <laughs> you know if this beauty was a woman I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, then, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go!
heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Hi there, beautiful. You wanna party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Damn, that must be my girl. Hey, baby, what can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I will start... You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. From a toad to a prince.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Just business shit, you know how it is. Green light. 
right? Good to go. Everything hurts. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. Or does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right!
Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? Alright, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out! Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't see nothing yet. There it is. I'll pass downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Ha! <laughs> Not good enough. Roger, Reverend 9 and Charlie Echo, where are you put down? 
Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Dad! Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that.
Where is he? Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. That's a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia. She already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Oh, 
They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. Hey, get, get out, out of, of there! I've gotta get some control of this set! Get me sorry about that! What's Brandon doing? the wheel I need to get the fuck out of here they're coming studio security are all over you wow. oh fuck we're gonna lose these guys is this an abduction nah you cool no I'm not cool not at all you sick? Chill out. I'm just interested in the whip this button say spikes what do you mean the whip I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this. Oh, see you later. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit. Just sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stop on syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look, I respect you as an artist. And a human being, but I got other priorities. Get back now! Damn, what's this button do? I. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can. All right, cool. I got the car. No drum. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! <laughs> practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Big homie, how you doing in there, dog? 
I know you running that shit in there, right? Hey, whoa, Jeez. look! Ah. Ah. Hell no. Dumb luck right there. you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, uh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and Tete did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife. No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, OK? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, uh, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist given back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. 
So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my... Ouch! ...and my big what? fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV!
sure about this team? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karma clip! We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay? We are now landing at Mackenzie Field! Swapping radio channels? Over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet! You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor! Fly safe now! Shoot 
me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Jackass! You're getting her up! Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. 
Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, 
the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Drive us to the bank. And we'll go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. <laughs> There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor of shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money, fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here, 
We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Hey, babe. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. Trevor's office? When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification. Minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the land. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Trevor beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... 
A what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. That it? You're sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, hmm? you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die! That's our curse! Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low carb. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? 
<laughs> You've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, sane, 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 oh, sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of two miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Shit, shit! Hellfire! Hey, let's roll on this fool, Chop! Do it! Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Helly. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's.
right, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties... Hey, hey, we here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. There's the new golden child. And what are you doing out so late? I got a guy taking a walk in the woods. Too fuck. Man, this water is fucking cold. I felt that we close. Fucking Philip. Get here, Chop! Eat that bitch! My bro! Last guy's done, homie! All right! Stay there! We'll come down and pick you up! All right, now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh!
good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Who's a good boy? Santa, we met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. he appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. Now look, he ain't doing too good without his family. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. And let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. Me and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job.
wanna get in my way? Where's Enzo? How many of these fuckers are there? How the hell did he even get up here? Ah. Someone stop him! I'm done screwing around here! Someone help me out here! Hey. Oh. Yeah, I see. You know who you're messing with! Who the fuck is covering me? Enzo's gonna have so much balls for this! Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin.
It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape. They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. The reason he had funds. Next thing we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them anyhow. 50k. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding. Pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place. What the fuck I out? went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> ah. Franklin, share? Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dodd pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Dodd pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. 
Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. I uh, never the two shall meet. Uh, uh, if we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! I think I got a model. Y'all ready? Let's go! Is this happening? We want a few minutes of your time. Get down! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. Doors ready to pop. Come kick Just it in. Just try it. If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'll fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back. We got hostages. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. <laughs> Move in! Call up procedure! You know you're surrounded, so you ain't getting a ride to the airport! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and, uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music! Sweet mother of shit. Don't be dumb like this. Take it in! 
The fucking army! Too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Fine! How much are 30 cops paying you? They got the army on us! Don't you got some global police work to do? It's a conspiracy, the cops and the army! Morpheus! Well, this is where our defense spending goes. How the fuck is Uncle Sam involved? You want to fight someone? Fight the Anunnaki. Shit! T T T man, they're flying the tanks. We gotta move it, like right now. If we all go, they'll get behind us. How about I push this way? You fools really been making a fucking mess out here. Kid, I got the armor. I'm starting to feel underdressed, dog. I'm gonna kill you. Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. Asshole. If I'd known you'd be this annoying. Hey, Frank, you good? Who's got my back? I need cover. To a chicken factory to get away from the tanks. Chicken oh, factory? Oh, oh, I see it. I'll try and head off anyone who looks like they're going in. Hey, man, these guys are every fucking weird. F, how you doing? Oh, oh, more oh. army showing up. I'm pinned down. I need cover. Asshole. Oh. Hold them down. Watch the grenade! You're in the way! Last call! Could be our only way out of here! How you doing back there, Frank? Alright, you do what you can do, Chef. 
I'm glad you got hired for the job. There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. Hey, let's get that train. Keep it under control. I think they think there's more than one of me. They're pulling back. OK. Hey, slip out of town and call Lester for instructions. I got moves. You're wasting a Trevor Phillips Inc., my friend. Chef caught us a break, people. Let's get our train. I ain't coming from the end of the warehouse. Let's hop the train. Come on. Here we go. Right here. Get on. Let's go. Yo. Uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. Here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operations save the worlds ago. Got your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, homie. Hey. Fuck. up. Serious. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby. Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. Taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. 
That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So, it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes! This is a high-value courier service run by... <laughs> Merriweather! Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold! Sometimes gold! Sometimes artwork! Priceless antiquities! Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay. I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, whoa, 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 getting changed? What if... What have you turned into? Stop that rain! Ah! All aboard! Conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. treasure in the magical train.
You beaten off in there, move it! I ain't struck gold or art or anything yet! Hold them off! Ah! They're parachuting in now! <laughs> Snipers are down! That keep you! I'm out here doing the hard work while you're in there relaxing. Find something! I'm spending more time giving status reports than looking! Baby on board, we're good to go! Above fucking time! Come on! River. Vamanoa! They got some boats after us! Nature, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada. Boat key! She's yours! Ground forces are on us! Hey, Chief! Check the coast! Women and children first! Hey, Ev! Good thing you changed clothes! You couldn't have done this without that pure best thing! Cars, up there, Chief! Get them off of us! Just fine. Without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killer, huh? Couple nickels? The times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Ron organized some transport for us. His and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be Deadman in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. 
You keep the case. Fuck me, okay? Hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff to get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Martin, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That would take some doing. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business, uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please, just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, Fucker. look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. 
and I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Bandito! Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes. You 
sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Final turbine, nearly there. That's an air pocket. Take it up to the surface, people. Swim over to the ladder. I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber. Set your phaser to stun. Hands up, you, now. Against the wall, quick. Move it! You, don't be a hero. Drop your weapon. Identify yourself. Michael, why is this guy not having a seizure? Come on! Okay, now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? Elevator coming, body on board, stay vigilant. Out, out, out! He's... <laughs> Collect a swipe card. Next floor, come on! How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. Two lab geeks. Gotta deal with them. <laughs> They're down. Let's go. Along here and to the left. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. This is them. Take him out or let him go. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkey. Go on. A tiny amount. On your... They've gone. We've got some time. Use the card on that swiper. Exit. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Open the door. You won't get in here. Door can only be triggered internally. What's that? I got this. Worth. Open up. The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agent. Get moving now. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh man. Thank you, federal government. You can zap this humanitarian, Michael. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Facility security has been compromised. Warning. Holy Warning. My partner's dead! 
unit. It's over in that container. Come on! Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell-by. <sighs> okay. Steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out! Is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. The flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now. Hey, 
Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. There's not... For some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. Treat you! I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will.
Any way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... What? But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with 
Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? No I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The condo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. I don't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> Here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. today. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. Now that's a custom job.
That's a beauty right there. Can't go wrong with a little extra under the hood. My boy Mike, good to see you. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. I feel you. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Got it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one.
Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. You mentioned a uh, job before, something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why didn't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Drawers down, but 
I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! So how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, 
I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores! You're back, man. We are back! All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man! Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'M YOUR FUCKING NIGHTMARE! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats!
me, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! I wasn't looking, sorry. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back at my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on! Come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! You're looking good. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? He thinks! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. Well, I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, right, everybody pay attention. No one gets hurt. gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy. Realist. 
He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The day is blown. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Boyfriend, motherfucker. Oh, sorry, you man. Let's have a talk. Oh.
More vans, of course. Go act up. We know your secret. Well, soon you change it. Drata. She's Drata. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? Don't die for your lover. You're way off, assholes. I ain't got anything against you people. Put down the weapons. You started this. Come on. He's getting away. Hey, guys. You ever heard of overkill? You're making a mistake. Don't do that. Good. Give it up. I'm not the one. Ah! You're out of your element. We got you, you idiot. I'm the one. Never you did. Oh fool! This is guys. This is it for you. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! You appear the war, mister! Oh, hey, back off! We'll take you with us! Fuck off! You should have gone after the other guy! They are all dead! We are silent, you mess! Fuck you, asshole! Hey, go fuck yourself! Phillips went that away! Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety. <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly.
is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But patricia Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It's very important. I have to go. Mark Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car stealing team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Waiting at the garage. The boost home. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do. That bitch was pristine, bitch. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. There she is, homie. We straight. Boss man's happy, then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. We'll let obey. Sonora Freeway.
Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh hell no, nah. that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit, it's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like retired from, from creeping. From everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk through. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't a good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he like in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet. 
if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. It's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Oh shit, what's that? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on the ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, take this headset. Coming up to GOA. Man, the cops is all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? 
Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Well, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! <laughs> right? Yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha! No. Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? Just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know. Look, I love you, right? But I would have, I would have. Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped them. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? 
Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day, good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Kevin hey. Phillips oh. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey, hey! Where's your humanity? <laughs> Somewhere. How you get in? Shit! Uh, 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 get up! Let's go! We going out this way! Follow 
me, man. We the ones who should be pissed with you. We just looking to get out of here, man. Don't get wool. Hey, yo, beef with Trevor Phillips. That's the last fucking time I get mistaken for Trevor's friend. That's it over here, man. Back off, man. Let us go. That's got to be all love. We should go, man. Come on, come on, let's go! This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you there. Nice try. Hey, we pick up a tail. Shit. I'll lose them, okay? Back off, you assholes. Hey, let's see if they can keep up. How'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Frank. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me, he fucks up. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? West? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with West down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your team. For real? Oh, Franklin, I had my feet chained to a meter. Fuck! Right! For the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. See ya. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it, not yet, but you will, when you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just
Your ass wipes. With pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? softballs, rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. <laughs> Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me.
going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? Well, unless you're here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau. Parking garage entrance. Hey, Selena! So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. We found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We will follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? Uh, not our guy. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Ooh, what's this? Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Here we go. That's not it.
There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that oh, one hey, and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office.
That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip... Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Lucky, buddy. Hey, what? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things, and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do, except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just... 
Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to him. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone Shut up! Her. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, I... All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? 
Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on Fame or Shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's a tattoo shop. That's close. Oh, 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 you cocksucker. You piece of shit. I hear we get you got a problem? I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic? So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm bi-coastal, I can't have metal. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, are you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Ah. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Ah. Let's do. Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Don't move. Uh. Please don't tattoo a cock. How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Uh. There we go. Oh. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ever a family that needs therapy? My ponytail. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine Fabian. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. 
I can tort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Hear, hear. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, OK? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, OK? We got some issues we got to iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you could just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. 
Now you're the one making the demands? Oh, no, no, not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. The real peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Wait! The trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No! Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Don't they see? It's in the plans. Hello?
Ah, it's Craig. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want a mop, okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay.
Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Deva, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
giant chicken? Stop your car now, Michelle! Stop the car, lady. Stop your car! Looks like the day you bought it. Once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk. You entitled piece! 
piece of shit! Let's see if we can find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. So where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing. What are you signing? A pot petition? Now you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Have you read it? You've got to read it. With you see coverage? him? With the coverage of the coverage. I I'll don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. It's a tour de force, the repartee. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. We found this brick? Not yet. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, how about going around the corner and back like up the hill, past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own star. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. He's out of the car. I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need help. I'm the victim. Don't kill me for loving her! Uh, that ain't love! It's the internet! You're a cyber creep! You're right, you're right! I'm get- Whoa. Ah. Run, you little bastard! All the way out of town! I had an accident. I'm sorry. I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but 
I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Thanks, Daddy. Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well. Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. You ready for me at the bureau? Yeah, it's almost that time, Frank. Link up with Moda and Welsh. Get the fire truck. Be ready to go as soon as I say so. Shit, we'll be good to go. Me and Gus will at least. You? I don't know, dog.
Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Dirty. Thirty. Crap. Wait till I shake it off before you mop the floor.
Another janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Yeah, it's not about being effective, it's about... They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? In and out, homies. Let's do it. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. Drive. Come on! It's collapsing! On me! We gotta move! I can't die! 
out of here! Be here in a minute. We tried our best. 
Torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? tell you people, I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost the dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the department, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out, so we got that to be thankful for. Hugh's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Yeah, man, unfortunately, Hugh wasn't really cut off for this work, man. His mind was on other things. Why you say that? Man, he told me he was writing a screenplay. Did he give you a copy? I'd like to read it. Why? Well, you forget. I'm in the business. This guy gets killed in a raid on the Bureau, and we produce his picture? There's some free press. They call that, uh, pre-awareness. Yeah, all right, man. Sure. I'm very fine with it. You hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, ah. ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're going to be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just going to get drunk as a skull. Gunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dickwad. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable. 
and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. 
there's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Oh, Steve, oh, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because, because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, what's your frequency? Let's all be at the end of the hallway, top of those stairs. I ain't. Davey, until some more of these guys kill each other! I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, give me the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, we're not in a position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. I can help. Trevor! It looks like there's a- Get down here, Michael! Division. Corrupt! Only a little. Definitely below average. Of course. More mercenaries here. What's up in between? A senseless waste of human life. What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. Ah! Christ! What are Merriweather doing at 
this party? You tell me. You're the one getting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're going to get off it. Sweet Jesus! Ah! Oh! They got me pinned down! Get that how much is this cost to the taxpayer? until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Be careful, Davey. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So uh, conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Another chopper! Smoking, huh? No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I've been... What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. 
All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Hey, man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some balling. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? 
Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Store spot. This is crawling all us, you know? Now, me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but Suede Buck's over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said, bite me. Man, I said, shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. They coming for us right now. Screw it. Let's improvise. You ain't going nowhere. Don't fuck with the ballers, baby. We go out in the blaze. Lamar! Where's he at? Frank! You found Lamar yet? No, Tom! Just more balls! Where's Lamar at, kids?
see Lamar. Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more of them coming. A lot more. Move it, guys. Come on. Get killed, Opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap. Every you need you set up. Homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times. No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... Man, we gonna do something about that, dog. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back then? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? That stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? 
Especially with you bringing them into this shit. Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same. Oh. It wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing VAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. 
Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Flossing ass, nigga. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Dude. Those are selling like hotcakes. I paid this guy to drive us. Get in the back. The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Chisel in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, hey, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. 
I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side food tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. Yeah. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But... You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just... I don't like this car! I'm sure it's just talk. Everything's gonna be okay. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'll... I'm gonna find the girls. Oh! What the fuck are you doing? One of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. Mom, Dad! Okay, okay. You two stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leave! Frag out! Can we come out? 
Not yet. Stay put. Standard ordinance. Let's do this. I told you to fuck off. Neither do I. Just keep calm. Get down! Come on! I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Someone give me cover! Say goodnight! Man down! Withdraw! Dickhead! Yeah, I guess Move that's that, that motherfucker! I need cover! I'm in the We're receiving fire! So long, sucker! No one's gonna kill you! Daddy's got this! Get a job! Keep me covered! What the fuck is this? What a pansy. Drop it, prick! Moron! Another auto gun! Eat that! Are you happy now? Got you, you dick. Oh, uh, oh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor.
Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. My boy, Mike. Good to see you. I'll rock any color I want. Tell me about it. They only play like six songs here. It's kind of making me crazy. You need to use some soap and wash your stink ass. Tap dance and sell out. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right, enough, huh? Enough! You're... Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one, we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Jobs for the Bureau team. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. <laughs>
Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him and him personally to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Yo, what's up? Cucking flying sex strip clubs objectify women, but you ain't objects. You're people. Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy.
I got an arrangement with your weirdo buddy. Dump the truck up there and I'll take care of it. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. What do you need, Barry? Absolutely. We'll, we'll talk later. Just an online persona. Uh, it was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal-colored land stalker to punish me for trolling you. If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Me! Ow. Hey, you got my son in that car! Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! You got my son in there. You can have your idiot son! Just get over here, Papa! Let me take you home. Oh. Thank 
you shit fuck man you, do you think do you think it's over yeah 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 he's gone are you sure because the dude holds like a grudge and i'm like his nemesis i wouldn't go that far look he thought you were a fat little nobody now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad you'll stay away but but i'm like his troll pop Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. Humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once. Watch oh, the fuck out, will ya? Big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right, eat. Fuck enough! I get it! Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. that you want me to perform. Better than when she came in, that's for sure. You got a whole lot more horses under there now. It'll be like driving on velvet.
I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. If we can just get a hold of the train, we'll be ready to hit it. Mr. Phillips, hope all is well, sir. Here, put this on. You know, I'm gonna scan this place for cameras when you're gone, Peeper. Hey, when this thing is done, the girls are gonna be videoing me. <laughs> mm, nah, ain't gonna happen. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we really gonna get this shit cracking, right? Fuck yes, oh, yeah. yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go! All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close! Get the crew, let's go, let's go! Hi, Mommy! You looking sexy! Where the business at? Lester in the air, running comms, and managing the link up with the train. Some Renna Hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. Renna Hood, homie? That's funny. We ready to go in the tunnel. When you draw the heat in the foyer, man, give us run. Why don't you show some? You ready to do something profoundly stupid? With you, M, I'd do anything. All right, man. I'm going through the vault wall. Get down! Get down on the floor, you're being robbed! That's the wall we want to hold in. Calling all units. We have a 211 at the Depository. The suspect is severely suicide. Possible possible situation. Click the switch on the drill bit. Get it going. We're in the vault! 
to be here soon. We gotta blow these cages fast. We got two cages to open. The bomb man set them off. We got access. Tunnel number six. Cops on the way. Get the metal over here for pickup. I'll handle the heat. Just get the goal ready to go. Get I'm holding them down. Have the gold in GTG. What do you mean the gold is in the vault? This is the Union Depository, ain't it? Y'all don't want to come over here. Hey, T, the metal's ready to go. Where the chopper's at? Helicopter inbound. See you in a second. Attention! Woo! Cop! Hey, come on! You gotta get across the bridge! Move or get moved! Get out of the way! Don't be a hero! Down, baby! Oh, out the way! Get down! On the floor! There's nothing to die for! We're going this way! Go home to your wives! We group, let's go! Hey, we come! 
coming through! You really wanna die for these assholes? You be stupid!
I'll check on the goal. Trevor, Lester, come in. Mike, Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. You doing all right? We got company. Looks like Merriweather. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! <laughs> oh, fuck me.
Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? 
Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man. You know the. Um, oh, that angry that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked. You know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe, both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Heading to the foundry place. Oh, okay. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we're trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us all the car. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. I was lining up camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Good gun. It'll get the job done. Hey, Milton. 
fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him. Ah, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Watch your sector. Gee, Paul, you gotta wait.
Ah. Ah, looks like we did it. See you for now. Yeah, exactly. For now. So, ho, ho, ho. what's next, huh? We're just gonna wait around till someone kills us, or are we gonna wait until this fucker gets turned again? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. Well, hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the mark? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, man, what's up? Main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't shown up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. See if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. 
and nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Grr, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Jesus! Oh, sure. It's celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams, <clears throat> dang, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? Yeah, we're <clears throat> rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Whoo! Where's that girl, man? Where's that hot little girl? I just saw her down there somewhere. What? Hold on. I don't care that she's an intern. <laughs> just get this thing going, all right? I want to get out of here. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So who we got, man? Stretch and Wei Chang are still in play. tolerate or the ones that worked this pole last night. Man, that's bullshit. You wanna see? I'll show you right here, nigga. Watch. 
All right, I'm at the courts. I think I know which one stretches. Oh, that's some fucked up shit, my nigga. <laughs> hey, Lamar and Franklin send their best. Hey, who this shit? Oh, hey. yeah. oh. Pal, Stretch, he ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a total cactus, homie. Thanks. Close up. I hate the boy chain. Don't worry, I'm on him. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm a do it now. That was him. Hey, I got our claim. You dudes ain't gonna, gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Oh, 
don't know what's going on. Where am I? You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! Go meditate, you phony prick! Well, guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake to give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! You're a dead man. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. If I empty a clip into the trunk. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time. Tea? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? 
<laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. <laughs> 